Fertiliser and herbicides on plants can be good for them, but it wouldn't be much good for you. So what happens when you're spraying the plants and the wind's blowing and the stuff that's good for the plants but bad for you gets blown away from the plants and towards you? I grew up bushwalking, trekking through the Lamington National Park. And there's a special part there called the Antarctic Beach Forest. It just captivated me. Ever since then, I've had plants in my blood. A lot of people don't understand that plants are the givers of life. Without plants, there is no life. And for that to be both my passion and also my work, that's a pretty special combination. I started studying horticulture at night and found that plants just didn't have to be a hobby, that they could also be a business. Obviously plants need to be maintained, they need love and care and attention. And I started working doing weed management. In order to maintain plants in a healthy condition, chemicals needed to be used that they were being applied in an unhealthy way and boom spraying and spray drift off target, the movement of chemical from where it was being applied was potentially harmful to the environment and also to ourselves as, as operators and also to the public. I saw a real opportunity there to do things in a better way. So what is the better way? Please welcome Nick Bloor. Nick, now, uh, pesticides have all kinds of chemicals in them, which are, of course, quite harmful for human beings. And so you've obviously dealt with this problem. You tried to make this whole spraying much safer. How, what have you done? Sure. Well, the Drift Proof Sprayer um, is a way of keeping the grass green and healthy mm -hmm. while eliminating potentially harmful spray drift right. and also reducing chemical use by up to 70%. Oh, that's, that's pretty spectacular. Now, what are the main inventive steps of, of your system? One of the key inventive steps is the hitch system, and then that's coupled with the dual caster uh, wheels here. That unique hitch system gives us a way of making this sprayer the most manoeuvrable sprayer we believe in the world. You've also come up with a system whereby this is now two metres wide. Correct. But you can, in fact, increase the width of this. So that's another step that you've introduced that's uh, quite unique. Well, let's have a look then. So if you can just sure. get that and then we can convert this. So we open up the end cap here. Yep. And then the end shroud here comes down. And that just locks neatly into place. Okay, so this is of course a symmetrical unit. So you would have exactly the same setting on the other side, which Absolutely. would then make it four meter wide, which yes. is great for sort of large open fields. Now, uh, what would happen in that kind of situation, parks and stuff, if this runs into an obstacle? You're yeah, well, obviously in, in the local park where we, you know, picnic or kick a ball, there's obviously a lot of obstacles. So there's trees and benches and on a sporting fields, there's goal posts and so forth. So if the sprayer um, hits one of those, mm -hmm. the brake back simply comes back. Right. Right. And if we let that go, it just snaps back into place. Perfect. And one interesting point you just mentioned about using less volumes um, of this chemical in the first place because you don't need quite as much. So what sort of percentage? Up to 70%. Up to 70%. I mean, for a square metre, right. this unit here is applying less than one tablespoon of volume over a square metre. So the application is very, very, very low. We have your uh, manual system here. So what are the wings here? Yeah, Costa, the, the wings, similarly to the, uh, to the four metre unit here, the opening end caps are unique to the DPS. In that situation, it means that we can uh, spray right up to a fence line or actually even underneath, say, a log bollard. OK, I'll fire it up. Just pull this hand. Yeah, it's just switch and spray, Costa. And just a, a fast walking speed and you're away. It's as simple as that. It's interesting how you can see how that's all contained, in term, particularly in terms of the side. And there's no, other than your footprints, there's no chemical to the side at all. 
Nick, given that there's more than 7,200 registered biocides in the country, which I don't think most people would realise, yes. do you see this technology as a stepping stone to reducing the amount of chemicals being sprayed in our big garden? Our philosophy is about reducing chemical use. The DPS gives us a way to reduce that by up to 70%. So what's the cost then of these two units, particularly this one for the home garden? How much is that going to cost and what's this going to cost, you know, the Shire Council? Sure. Look, we think that the one metre unit is ideal in a home environment. Um, cost, we're looking at under $5,000 for, for the complete unit. For the larger four metre unit with a quad bike and sprayer, we're looking at around $60,000 for the, for the whole unit. But you're talking about a very efficient system that can complete a hectare, so a sporting field, in well under an hour. Well, you know, it sounds like you've thought about just about everything in, in terms of the sizes and uh, the cost considerations as well. Again, thank you very much for uh, coming in and bringing along your invention to us. Thanks so much, Vera.